All right, folks, so this is the day at Gamescom where these pro players get to take off and be as serious as possible with their gameplay. And right off the bat, we're on board with Team North America, and we're spawning in the eyes of Karma of Team Envious, one of the most successful professional Call of Duty teams out there with the most tournament wins. Optic Gaming on the other side for Team North America, coming in as the number one team in the world at the moment. Very hot, had such a good year last year, taking COD XP, winning two of the Major League Gaming Championships on the World on the Pro Tour. And now we see Karma is setting up nicely here. This is a great spot to look over your teammates as we see that we have two players from North America on the B flag. And it looks like Big Timer is barely going to take that B flag. Swanee managing to get the frag on him, but just a little too late. And two minutes and 30 seconds left in round number one of Domination. If you're just tuning in and you haven't seen Domination with us yet, it's round by round scoring now. So we'll have a halftime and teams will switch sides. The flags will renew and come fresh, but the score will carry over round to round. And so the North Americans controlling that B flag. Karma is on a three kill streak. He's playing very passive right now for the North Americans, just holding down this position. Yemen's such a fast paced map. Somebody's got to play that defensive mode. And why don't we go ahead and swap board on board here with Toby, who's playing as a guest against his European counterparts. And let's see what he does here as an RCXD. Just kind of rolled through there. Now Toby's actually going to push this. Let's see what he can do as Toby is here hanging tight for just one moment. MSMC is his gun of choice. That's a submachine gun in Black Ops 2 multiplayer. And now it looks like the North Americans have flipped the spawn here. And the Europeans will be spawning out. It looks like the North Americans will get the C flag capture. That is three flags captured. And let's see if, a, or excuse me, it looks like these players from Europe were taking that A flag. And they did manage to get it. But the score now is very much in... Uh, under, in wraps for the North Americans, 37 to 19. So they did get a great chunk of points there with that three cap. Didn't really manage to hold it for too long, but still, those two flags were crucial as we're on board with Raiden. Why don't we take a listen in to the North Americans, see what they're saying right now as they are controlling this map. What's up, Elden? Got SA, got SA. Down. I got one at sea. Oh, in the middle building on top of B, our side though, our side. Right, he should be in front of you. Uh, good kill, Red. Now 12 seconds left to go. You saw the North Americans communicating there. They were just holding map control that entire round. And they're going to take round number one, 65 to 33 as we head into halftime. We'll check out the final kill cam here. And it looks like it's going to be Merc taking out Shane there near the B flag coming around. So that score is going to carry over. We're going to flip sides here. Swap spawn, and we're going to have another three minute round as we kick it right off again. We're on board with Karma yet again, and it looks like Karma's going to help Toby here. So one player did push, and it looks like that was Rambo, Optic Ray of Optic Gaming, storied player, long time career professional Call of Duty player. And Rambo does has a nice, nice flank right there. He comes up behind two European players, takes out one, gets an assist on the other, but no, it's going to be Gunshi who took out Ray. And Gunshi is going to be very close to that B flag, but he gets taken out. As we take a look here at the picture in picture, we'll hop on board with Ray who's spawning back in here. Now Ray has the MP7. Looks like he has the extended clip on that MP7. Has so many rounds, and now he gets taken out. We'll jump on board with Karma, who is actually threatening the home flag, the A flag for the Europeans. Gets some nice hip fire right there, whips around, takes out Raiden before getting taken out by Shane. Now Shane making a move. The Europeans are going to have to do something really quickly if they want to claw back into, into this one. Now it looks like quite a few of them were down, so Shane was the only one alive, and now he gets naded as he was trying to take the B flag. 
the North American strategy here is just to hold the Europeans from taking that B flag. They can just hold this down all game long and win this next round as well. 81 to 49 is the score at the moment. And you see that B flag is neutral. And we're still on board with Shane. Certainly going to have to start making moves. However, he gets flanked. And it looks like Ray for North America is on a tear. Pulling out that laser side attachment. Getting some nice hit fire shots right there on Raiden. But Quantum of SK Gaming takes him out for the Europeans. And we take a look at the scoreboard. We see that Karma is on fire in this match. He has 15 kills, 3 deaths, and 2 captures. He's playing passive for the North Americans and doing such a good job of maintaining map control with his teammates. Picking up an assist right there as we swap over to him. Now he has a reflex sight attachment on the M8. A1, very nice assault rifle. And it looks like Karma is actually going to flank here. Nope, he's going to stop. He has two teammates on the A flag with him. And we see that they're going to take that A flag and immediately book it towards the B flag. Europeans are pretty much mathematically eliminated from taking this round at this point. 97 to 63 with 20 seconds left to go. And we're on board with Merc here. Let's see what he can do here in the final round to give you guys a little bit of fun on the kill cam. He gets taken out, so we'll swap around, see if we can find another player. Everybody dying right now. Looks like Wiz gets some nice hit fire right there. Also using the laser sight attachment. And there you have it. North America takes game number one. 103 to 72. Wiz on the final kill cam. And there you have it, Twiz running into a few <laughs> players there at the end of that round. And he takes out Swanee to end the game.